Top 5 Things to Do in Toronto Toronto is a multicultural, diverse city with modern architecture, countless skyscrapers, several museums, and art galleries. There are a bunch of places to visit and activities to do here in this city. But if you're still confused, here's the list of the top 5 things you can do in Toronto. But before getting to that, do us a favor and hit the like button, plus don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos. Number 5. Explore Museums Museums are the best way to know about a city's heritage, and Toronto has plenty of them, with each displaying a unique collection. One of Canada's premier museums, the Royal Ontario Museum, is widely popular among tourists. It houses an extensive collection covering natural history, art, and culture from different regions and different periods from all over the world. The next in line is the famous Bata Shoe Museum, exhibiting a unique display of footwear throughout history. The collection also includes Elton John's platform boots, as well as Elvis's blue suede shoes and the legendary Canadian hero, Terry Fox's running shoe he wore during his attempt to run across the country for cancer research. There's also the newest addition to the list, the Aga Khan Museum, opened in September 2014. The museum is dedicated to Islamic art and features a collection of Islamic, Persian, and Muslim art. You can also visit the Ontario Science Centre to observe various science expeditions. Number 4. Rome Around St. Lawrence Market Located on 92 Front Street East, St. Lawrence Market is one of the oldest markets in Canada. Built in 1850, the market houses many vendors selling all kinds of items. The main hall in the market, which was restored in 1967, features a majestic staircase and a gas-lit chandelier, and is occasionally used as a shooting location for movies and TV shows. St. Lawrence also serves as a public meeting place and a concert venue. In summers, tourists love to soak in the sun while enjoying some food or coffee on the outdoor patios of local restaurants. Number 3. Wander Through the Distillery District The Distillery District is a historical landmark with a bunch of activities to do. There are multiple art galleries, boutiques, brew pubs, restaurants offering some delicious food and desserts, some local accessory shops, and several events going on all the time. As you roam around the area on the old brick-paved pedestrian streets, you might feel like having a trip down the history lane while peeking into some old breweries and distilleries. The district consists of a collection of 47 19th century old buildings and is considered the main cultural hub in the city. If you're visiting in summers, then there's a whole different vibe as the place becomes a hotspot of street musicians and stage performers, while in winter you can catch up on the annual Toronto Christmas Market in full swing. Number 2. Casa Loma Toronto might seem like a city of modern infrastructure, but there's also a hidden gem in the form of Casa Loma. Built in 1911 by Sir Henry Pilat at his private residence, it's an extravagant place spanning over 64,700 square feet and contains 98 rooms. Located in midtown Toronto, it's a gothic-style castle building, featuring a great hall, a huge dining room, a superb conservatory, and stairs to towers from where you can enjoy some gorgeous views of the city. You can walk around the castle or dine at the nearby restaurants and cafes. Finally, number 1. CN Tower A must-visit, the place and the most popular tourist attraction in Canada is the CN Tower, offering multiple fun activities as well as panoramic views of the city. Built in 1975, it was the world's tallest building before being surpassed by the Burj Al Khalifa in 2008. The most thrilling activity to do here is the edge walk, but that's not for the lighthearted. Most tourists don't try this, and prefer to walk on the glass floors instead, an equally thrilling experience. Initially, the tower's 335-foot antenna was used to broadcast television, radio, and cell signals, but it gradually became a tourist hotspot as it offers multiple observation decks, a revolving restaurant, another restaurant with the world's highest wine cellar, and some striking views of the city underneath. Which one of these places would you like to visit on your trip to Toronto? Share with us in the comment section and keep watching for more videos.